CEO Ron McLean from Create the Difference. Got my man Billy Levan here. We're going to do some more testing. Today's kind of a cool day. We're actually going to talk about the Spectre bowling ball and the seven bowling balls that Storm is offering as replacements. What we're going to do is we're going to have Billy throw some shots with the Spectre and those seven bowling balls, and we're going to hopefully help you have a better determination of which bowling ball is best for you. So we're going to have him start off by throwing the Spectre and kind of see what that ball does. I've actually got clutch bowling and Specto back here with me, so I can tell you uh, a little bit about the shot too. We're bowling on a completely flat pattern, red square. That allows us to be able to take advantage of the bowling ball and see exactly what it does. It also makes it extremely difficult on Billy because he's got no lane help at this time. So we're going to be able to just kind of see what the Spectre does and kind of get a feel for how these seven bowling balls that Storm is offering as a replacement, uh, how, they'll, how they'll compare to each other and as well as maybe you can pick a bowling ball for your game. He's going to make a move off of this last shot. Moves in, gets it further to the right. Still a little high. So not quite deep enough. See if that comes back. Now you see, red square is tricky, tricky, tricky because there's no lane help, and that's one of the the interesting things about bowling on a completely flat pattern. But nonetheless, he'll make another little adjustment there, and he'll be uh, close enough to the pocket that we'll be able to do a comparison here. That's close. All right, so now we've been able to see a little bit about what the Spectre Ball does. The next one we're gonna throw is gonna be the Wolverine. So we're gonna kind of throw the Wolverine in that exact same location and kind of see the difference between the Storm Spectre and the 900 Global Wolverine. No, that's actually, that is actually, yeah, 900 Global, 900 Global Wolverine. So let's, let's find out what we got. Further right, was it recover? No sir, not today. All right, so we're gonna throw that again. No problem, and what I'm doing, uh, I'm actually going to keep the strike shot on Specto, and uh, that way we can look at those shots when we're all said and done. You can kind of see what lines he had to play in order to be able to strike. All right, let's see if that gets there. Oh, it's a little too much. All right. No problem. This may be a long video though. I told you, this is not easy. This is actually very difficult because there's no lane help. Typically when you're doing ball review videos, you don't bowl a completely flat pattern because one, it makes it super hard, uh, but and two, the video is going to be 30 minutes long. But we're trying to show you a couple things here. Not only we're trying to show you the performance of Spectre, but we also want you to kind of get a real feel for difference of the bowling balls. That one's close, I think. Oh yeah, 10 back from Billy Ribs. All right, so now we've seen that ball. We will now move to the original High Road. High Road is a bowling ball that's been in the Storm product line for a very, very long time. So we're going to see where he's got to be to get that ball to get him 10 back. So if I'm him, I'm going to stay in the same part of the lane and try to do the exact same shot. But we'll see what happens. Oh, that's wide right. Wheel! No, sir. All right, so on my end, I'm going to delete that shot from Specto because when we show you the Specto data, we just want to show you the lines that were played to get strikes. Whereas, while you're watching the video, you might as well see all the shots. That way, you can kind of see how this ball performs. Like I said, man, it's, a, it's kind of a cool opportunity because you're going to be able to see all the balls at once and figure out which ball is best for you. And with this bowling on a flat pattern, that makes it uh, all the bowling ball and the bowler. No lane help. We're close. Hook, hook. Ugh. Well, 
not quite there. That shot actually wasn't that bad. It just did not quite uh, make the move. Launch angle was a little bit higher than the other ones, and that may account for why the ball did not strike. And that's okay. Oh, I like that one, Billy. 10 back, baby. All right, so that's a good one. So now, let's look at the Roto-Grip UC3. So we're gonna look at the UC3 now. Now the UC3 is uh, a urethane-ish type ball. So we're gonna see how it compares. Oh, that might be close. A little too much hook. All right, fair enough. That actually was not a bad shot. It was very much in line with the last one. Just uh, that ball's got more surface on it. And as a result of that, it uh, hooked a little much. Let's see what that does. All right, so that counts. That will count. That was the UC3. So now we're gonna do the uh, Idle Helios. Oh man, come on. Woo! Definitely a little more hook. So we'll get ourselves a fresh rack and do that again. Gotta push, gotta push. Oh, almost, almost got ourselves a strike there. We'll do it one more time. I'm sure he's got it lined in now. Billy's over here laughing at me. He's like, man, you got me throwing all these balls and you're making it hard today. But Billy's an accomplished bowler. He's a 230 plus average player. So he can repeat shots very well. That's got a hook. All right, a little wide right. No worries, no worries. And this is good for you to see too, right? Because you can actually see the shape of the ball. Even with the shots that are missed, it's allowing you to be able to see kind of what this ball does. So you want to be able to kind of take a peek and watch the shape of the bowling ball. Uh, because like I said, you may want the Helios as your replacement or you may want something else as your replacement. That's close. You know what? That didn't strike, but I'm keeping that shot because that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, brother. All right, so let's go to the next ball. The next ball we're gonna throw is the UC2. We might be close. UC2. 10 back. Woo! Alright, let's do High Road Pearl. That's got a hook. Almost. Awfully close. We're going to do that again. Oh. 
That's closer. Yes, sir. High road pearl. All right. So I think now we got to do the pitch black. And pitch black is the uh, the last one on the list of the eight bowling balls. So we'll see what he's got to do to line up with this ball. Is it going to stay there? Almost. And that was a completely different shape. I don't know if you saw that or not, but definitely that ball, it looked like it was going to hook and then be continuous, and then it kind of went pretty forward. So, I mean, it's a urethane ball, urethane-ish ball, so definitely a different shape than the Spectre for certain. Um, and that was pretty that was pretty evident right there. I mean, that ball, if that would have been one of the reactive balls, or more reactive balls, I should say, that ball would have went way, way, way through the face. So, interesting to take note there. He'll make a little adjustment off of that. Uh-oh, that ain't coming back. See, your thing does not recover like reactive. So, if you miss to the right like that, you got no chance of that ball coming back. But that's all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have him throw a strike with this ball, and then we're going to... Uh, put up the data so you can actually see the lines that he was playing uh, to be able to strike with each shot and hopefully uh, that will give you some more information about maybe which ball's best for you. Now that's going to be close. Now see how the ball's not continuing? That's part of the problem with urethane, right? Um, that ball, it hooked kind of early, looked pretty good going about down the land about three quarters of the way, and then did not and could not finish. So he'll have to make an adjustment. He's a little too steep through the front part of the lane. He'll have to move to the right to kind of square that up because he's not going to get that ball to finish like he can a reactive ball, a typical reactive ball. He'll have to square up a little bit, or at least be a little straighter through the front part of the lane to get that ball to turn. So if you had a Spectre, Pitch Black is probably not your replacement, just unless you're leaning a bowling ball that is a completely different ball motion. See a little straighter. Almost, four pin, so that's close. And you can see that's a very, very different line on the lane. You can see that uh, that's a very different line than what he was playing. And that ball was close, that shot was close. So that one's not going to do it. We'll, we'll do it again. No harm, no foul here. It definitely appears that pitch black out of all the balls is different, substantially different. And maybe you want that. Maybe you need that in your arsenal. Maybe you're going to Nationals and you want something that's a little more controllable than the Spectre would have been. Well, maybe pitch black's your piece. Hook, hook. Yeah, she's not hooking. She is not hooking today, baby. All right, I'll quit singing. I'll stick to what I'm good at. Get ourselves a full rack. Get ourselves lined up here. There we go. There we go. Well, it was a flatty, flatty 10 pin, but that definitely will count for hitting the pocket really well. Um, so we're going to keep that shot as well. So now we've got our shots that we want, and now you've got a little bit more information about what's going on with these bowling balls. Just kind of run it down one more time for you. So yeah, so just kind of run it down real quick. So Billy, Billy's rev rate's about 300. And uh, the layout was 60 by four and three quarter by 30 for every single bowling ball that we threw. So all the bowling balls are laid out the exact same. We're bowling on red square. I'm gonna have to cut the lights off actually real quick so you can see that. We're bowling on red square, which is completely flat. Um, you can see that right there. And you can kind of see the kind of the, the different shots that he had to play in order to be able to get the bowling ball uh, to strike. So now you got some more information. 
about these eight bowling balls total, the seven that will replace Spectre, Pitch Black, High Road Pearl, Helios, Idol Helios, uh, UC3, UC2, High Road, and Wolverine. All those bowling balls are options. You can download, you can go to the link in the description and that will take you to uh, where if you've got a Spectre, you can get that bowling ball replaced courtesy of Storm. And with that being said, on behalf of Billy LeVan, I am CEO Ronald Hicklin from Create the Difference. Talk to you soon.